Hi there. Hi everyone. Last week we took you on some fun adventures in Arizona. This week we're sharing some adventures while traveling north through Nevada and Idaho on our way to Spokane, Washington. From there we'll be entering into Canada and traveling to the Alcan Highway to our final destination of Alaska. First stop, Paranagat National Wildlife Refuge, where we hope to see all kinds of wildlife. We may have been here at the wrong time of year for wildlife observations, but the cactus blossoms were beautiful. This wildlife refuge is a hidden gem located in the heart of the Nevada desert. Looks like a storm's rolling in. It sure does. Yet what a beautiful sunset. Oh no, a scorpion. Let's get out of here. Great Basin National Park has been on our radar for years. Located in the central east side of Nevada, this national park is very remote. The park has such a variety of landscapes, including an interesting cave system. Our day started with a 9 a.m. ranger-led tour of Lehman Caves. We're gonna take you on a tour in Lehman's Caves and we actually see bats. Lehman Caves is the longest known cave in Nevada with two miles of passageways. Portions of the caves were actually used in movies such as the 1965 horror film, The Wizard of Mars. horror film? Things got scary to me when we saw bats. The ranger could not believe we saw a colony of bats. This tour was well worth it. The road to Wheeler Peak was only open to Mather Point due to snow and ice at higher elevations, but we were able to view the peak from afar. Wheeler Peak has an elevation of 13,167 feet. The lower elevations were desert-like. Of course, we had to explore the dirt roads as we love off-roading.
While visiting Great Basin, we stayed in Ely, Nevada at the KOA. This campground had beautiful views of the snow-capped mountains. We took a sunset, stars and champagne train ride with Nevada Northern Railway Museum. The ride was fun and the views were stunning. While traveling north, we spent the night in Idaho at Holinsky Vineyard and Winery, a harvest host in Boole. We enjoyed a bottle of rosé, very tasty. On our way to Spokane, Washington, we made a stop at Palouse Falls State Park. The Palouse River drops 200 feet to a churning bowl. From there, the current moves swiftly through a winding gorge to its southern end at the mighty Snake River. While there, we saw these little animals, maybe marmots. They looked like they were enjoying the waterfall as much as we were. We also saw bald eagles flying through the beautiful canyon. We have about 15 more miles to the Canadian border. Cannot wait to get there. We're now in Canada at our first stop. It's a Harvest Host Sonora Desert Winery. The wine is delicious, the view is wonderful, and we are happy campers. <laughs> 